the CAC meeting for the first of the year is, is about to begin. Uh, roll call. Bill will yeah. do roll call. Uh, Richard Farias. Here. Uh, Lawson Picasso. Diana Martinez. Here. Frank Gonzalez. Chris Soloway. Raquel Sabata. Adelita Cantu. John Kelly. Here. Tom Corso. Vanessa Alvarado. Here. Bill Day. Here. Steve Bonnet. Here. Andrew Capsaddle. And Robert Sabata. Aaron Stein. Here. I have Aaron, Andrew, and Bill Day online. Bill How Day and Aaron Stein yes. online. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So now we will proceed to the invocation of Pledge of Allegiance. Invocation of Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Christina Guzman. We thank you for the many blessings you have freely given to each of us. We ask for your presence to guide this meeting of the CPS Energy Citizen Advisory Committee. Provide them with the knowledge, compassion, and wise counsel needed as they discuss the business matters on the agenda today. Help us all to remember that we are stewards acting on behalf of our customers and provide us with the grace to serve all people well. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Please stand for the pledge. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. So, Chair Martinez, prior to uh, moving into uh, executive session, uh, we will do the approval meeting as well as we have a quorum. But prior to doing so, I'd just like to mention a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, at the suggestion of uh, Chair Gillette Lawson Picasso, uh, I am going to be sending, after today's meeting, I'm going to be sending the entire committee a link to a winter preparedness press conference that was done on December the 14th. Um, it's approximately 15 minutes long, but it will tell you everything you need to know about what CPS Energy has done to be prepared for the winter season. Uh, you will hear comments from uh, you know, Rudy Garza, you will hear comments from corporate communications, you will hear comments from, you will hear comments about our winter, our new winter response, demand response program. Um, it's, the, it's the summer demand response, but in reverse, you'll hear about that. Uh, you'll also hear from our gas operations as well as our transmission distribution. So it's a really good uh, press conference. You get about 15 minutes of your time. It'll tell you everything that we need, that you need to know about what we have done to be ready for the winter season. So I'll send that out this afternoon. Uh, other than that, um, you know, just mentioning at the bottom of your agenda there, um, you know, we did we did calendar, um, uh, you know, potentially, you know, re regrouping on the 17th. So that's still a tentative uh, calendar hold at this time. Um, our next board of trustees special meeting. Normally, we would do that the last uh, Monday of January, but due to some uh, scheduling needs, uh, that's now moved to Monday, February 5th. So the January meeting will be on February 5th. And of course, your next meeting will be on uh, February 14th. Something I did not put on the agenda, and I do apologize, but one of the things I do want to mention is that tomorrow, we do have a item on the City Council Consent Agenda uh, for the reappointment of Trustee Chair Gonzalez. Uh, she would like to have a second five-year term serving on the Board of Trustees. Uh, our Board of Trustees can serve a maximum of two five-year terms, and her first term is up on January the 31st, and um, she would like to serve a second term, so that will be on the consent agenda tomorrow with the City Council. Uh, so we will be there uh, for that item. Thank you. Thank you. No worries, your timing is perfect. I believe now uh, we do have a quorum. Uh, so Chair Martinez, if you like, you know you can call for an approval of the minutes. All right. Uh, has everyone had a chance to review mi minutes from the summer meeting? And if so, do you have any corrections or modifications or anything that you might want us to uh, change? Okay. Second. Steve Bonnet uh, uh, made the motion to approve, but Richard Ferrari second not to the meeting. meetings of December 2023. And take a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? The minutes stand approved. Thank you, Chair Martinez. And before moving into executive session, I would like to offer you the opportunity to have any general comments that you'd like to make to the committee, especially since this is your first meeting, Chair. 
Well, as I uh, discussed with some of the, CAs, the, the CPS staff, uh, I'm looking forward to this year. I know that we've got some changes coming up, uh, possibly. Uh, I ask for your indulgence, as I know a lot of our, or most of our CAC uh, chairs have been in the energy industry in some form or another, and I come as a layperson to you guys. So I ask for your indulgence and uh, advance apologies if I misstep myself somewhere, because I'm learning as well as this, but this is a wonderful organization to be a part of, and I'm so grateful for all of y'all stepping up and, and honoring your district as well as your city and your community. So, and I thank the staff abundantly because y'all, we couldn't do it as well. Thank you, very well. thank you all for your service. Thank you. And I look forward to a prosperous and a wonderful year for us all. Any other comments from Chair Martins or the committee prior to executive session? Hearing none, Chair Martinez, you may take the, co the committee to executive session. Okay, uh, we are entering the ex uh, executive session January 10th, 2024. It is 11.38 a.m.